I need to get some bagging on these other apples. I was waiting until they got a little bit bigger. I, I saw the one that you had to clip a couple of this because they, you only yeah. had two on yeah, yeah. I think this is a first. I have with me a subscriber that has been watching my channel for seven years. And she's visiting my garden today. And this is Toomey and her husband, Steve, and they're from Dallas, Texas. And we're just gonna have a little conversation. We've already been inside and had some tea and shared some seeds. Toomey is really the gardener in her family. Uh, but Steve has been the beneficiary <laughs> yes. because he was perfectly, he said earlier, he was perfectly uh, happy eating canned vegetables till she came along, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> now he, he wouldn't even touch the can anymore. <laughs> they are visiting Los Angeles. They've never been here. And she just contacted me a couple of days ago yeah. and said, I'm in LA. Could I possibly see your garden? I said, absolutely. Yeah. So I just wanted to share the fact that she has this talent for making flowers. <laughs> yeah. She handed me this and I thought it was a flower. I have no idea how you make that. It's made of a uh, material called crepe paper. Crepe paper? Yes. Okay. And, and I actually have, this is white, but then I have to color it. She has made this flower with its sleeves yes. mm -hmm. and the stem, and then she's attached it to a well-preserved, this is what you- Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, yeah. that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. And that's going to look great in my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so thank well, you very you. much. Oh, no problem. <laughs> it's a type called Easy uh, Renanculus, right? Oh, yes. I tried growing those. Yeah, yeah. I bought some ranicu reninculus, the right? Reninculus, yes. I bought some ranunculus from the nursery and planted them. And, you know, they, they came and they went really fast that's yeah, why I'm... i was like this was not worth the money <laughs> i know i'll never do that like again. like a week after and they're gone she showed up here in sleeveless and he's in a t-shirt <laughs> they thought it was going to be warm coming to southern california <laughs> today is 55 degrees. it was 55 uh now it's probably about 59 or 60 yeah right? yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm wearing you know two a flannel shirt and a sweater and she's <laughs> but uh yeah. <clears throat> They're heading to Target after this and buying some jackets. Somewhere. Or somewhere. <laughs> Whatever's handy. Yeah, yeah. You know. At home we have the birds or our dog. Mm. Our dog, our dog apples. eats the apples off the tree. <laughs> you gotta train your pets. You gotta train your pets. If you have a garden, you've gotta train your pets. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's just not fair. Right. No, ours is or deer. Good, you gotta control the deer. Oh. Seven foot fence. Oh. Our is eight foot fence, I think. You have an eight foot yeah. fence? Yeah. Ar around your backyard? Yeah. In the south, you can do every that? house has tall fence. That's actually pretty common. Wow, now. somehow yeah. it hadn't been tall. Privacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but is it, is it a privacy. fence you can see through? or? No, it's just like wood fence, like you can't Solid, see through. thick. Oh, wow. Yeah. Eight feet. What's better is to put up a slatted fence that you get light through. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, you got an eight foot fence. You, you're not going to be growing a whole lot right at the you ground the fence, level. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I bet you can grow uh, passion fruit oh, yeah. all along, along the fence. Well, and so even the loofah that y'all talked about grows all over our fence. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we what kind of tack it up yeah. against the fence so it just grows. Just run some wire. <laughs> oh, you did the wire? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's great. I'm interested in knowing how many things that you're growing were influenced by me. Oh, I, I can't count. There's so many of them. Really? The first thing I can really think of is when I watched your corn videos. Oh, and early on. The, yes, the, yes. Yeah. And it inspired me grow to grow corn and so I can eat them fresh. Because I never tried them before. <laughs> She'd never eaten corn right out of the garden. Oh, yeah. Just rip it open and eat it. Yeah, so when you ate that and I was so surprised, I was like, how can you do that? I so I have to cook it or something. Wouldn't that taste terrible? And when I tried the first bite, it was so good. I know. It, I was hooked, literally. I grow 50 head of corn and I ate probably half of it in the garden. <laughs> as far as the rain goes, we have to do a rain collection system. Oh, we learned that from you too. <laughs> I was that oh, video did we? with Eric built those. Oh yeah, we built these. Oh. I built those for her. <laughs> wow. Because I of you. That I was really That's interesting inspired. because I just, uh, don't move, don't move. Mm -hmm. I'm just seeing that this thing is not even on here. Oh, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know how that jumped off. 
Yeah. That means our last rain, it went on the oh, ground. Yeah, okay. You were saying you learned to do rain capture. Rain capture. Yeah. We grow um, the corn from you, and we I try to grow squash that yes. you grow that the the green. Uh, kabocha. So I grow those from you watching and tomatoes. I try a lot of tomatoes because you try heirloom tomatoes. Right. One of us, it's right. A bunch of them. So I went crazy. Want to? <laughs> now one. you work full time and you're semi-retired. Yes. Right. Yeah. So how much time do you spend in the garden? Every morning before work and every day after work. So I work from home. So I have that oh. that luck where I can access the garden all the time, mm. but uh, mostly you have to plan things around. So you have to start seedlings early. In the morning I mostly go harvest what I can do and then do some watering and then after work I would do a lot of planting and, and right. stuff. Because I feel like if I plant at night, it won't get beat by the heat during the day. Right. Have a night of big cover. Right, yeah, right, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. We've been talking a lot about pho today. Yeah. Did I say it right? Pho. Pho, yeah. yeah that's right. And her grandmother had a restaurant. My mom. My Your mom, mom had mom a restaurant. Does. Yeah. A pho yeah. Restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. And so for, you got to eat pho every day, right? For, for 20 something years, almost 30 years. Oh my almost God. My life. Now that was in Vietnam. Yes, that was right? in Vietnam. And, uh, and then here, now she lives with you. Yeah, she lived with me yeah. and she cooks pho. Uh, and she cooks, <laughs> so they get to eat pho uh, all the time. And she makes the broth from scratch. Yes, from scratch. And my understanding from Mary at the nail salon, she, that she cooks the broth all day. Yeah. At least eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah. Eight hours. Longer the better. Yeah, the longer the better. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because the bone marrow uh, get into the broth and give it a lot of flavor. So what are you growing this summer? We have tomatoes, mm -hmm. cucumber, eggplant. Yeah, eggplants. And eggplant is big in Vietnam, right? Well, yeah, we eat a you lot of eggplant. The long eggplant, the, yeah. the purple one. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So we grow also a lot of Asian plants too. Uh, loofah. We eat loofah when they were young. Yeah. And then we grow bottle gourd. Um, bottle gourds. Yeah. 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 And yeah. what do you make out of those? Soup. There's a lot of soup that we cook. Oh, them. you eat them? Yeah, we eat them. Ah, okay. And you can use the the dry one, the old one, to make container. Right. If you want to. I'm trying to grow watermelon this year because I, uh, you know, I'm inspired by you. <laughs> I, please grow, somebody out there, please grow watermelon for me. Do you have any snakes in your yard? No, not that I encounter any. Um, we do have Rabbits. some rodents. Rabbits? Lots of rabbits. Rabbits? Yeah, rabbits. In your neighborhood? Just yeah. Everywhere. Wild rabbits? Squirrels Everywhere. And, and rabbits. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, rabbits need a canyon or something to, to hide at night and have their homes. The, the rabbits near us make burrows. Oh. They live in holes in the ground. Really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, oh. Um, so they eat everything. Yeah. So how do you keep rabbits out of your raised beds? Our dog. My dog chases oh, them. Oh, right. have a dog. <laughs> uh, um, dogs can be good for something. Rabbits really <laughs> like my... Um, I love dogs. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Uh, rabbits really like my um, sweet potato leaves. I oh, sweet yes. Potatoes. Well, yeah. rabbits are smart. Yeah. They're, they're vegetarian, which is why they say, if you eat rabbit, that's the cleanest meat you can eat, is because they're strictly vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. It, because your show has really beautiful music and your voice really nice. and So I normally watch her while I uh, do gardening myself, um, just kind of play it in the background while right. I'm doing things with my uh, speaker, you know, um, portable speaker. Or I uh, would do these flowers and just listen into it, kind of calm myself down and just do yeah. this. Kind of my downtime, right. basically, right. and just play it in the background. Um, it's really nice. It's, it's a wonderful experience. Thank you. So they, thank you for, you for that. You're welcome, <laughs> and thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh, and I, I was going to say, when you're working at home, which is lucky because you don't have to commute. Yeah. yeah. When you're working at home, you, you don't want to be in your house 24 7. No, no. And so that's the beauty. Now you have garden. Mm -hmm. You can go out even if you're not actively out there digging, Steve. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, I do the hard part most of the time. He built the bet for me. Hey, yeah, thing. Steve, you said you set up the rain barrel setup. Yeah. I did the yeah, rain barrels. I, I put, I set up the, you know, the above ground 
beds, built the wood frame and he all that. Built the trellis. I mean, I all moved the most of the dirt. Back. So we uh, we anyway. did um, the rain barrel and then we did the solar panels for the house. Too. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Get a lot of. Through fun. the summer, we actually get paid. Back, back from the electric that's company. Fantastic. We produce well, that's fantastic. Well, that's that's the ideal. Yeah. And and the biggest hurdle for a lot of people is how do you get into it because it's so costly to get into it. Oh yeah. We have to finance it because right. Know, it's expensive. Some cost yeah. is expensive. Especially if you're doing a hundred percent array on your your roof. That's, yeah. That's we got a, more over thirty uh, panels total. Wow. Yeah. We pay, instead of for electricity, we pay for the solar panels. Right. Mm -hmm. But by the time we pay those off, we'll have at least about 10 years of use extra. Uh, without having to pay Where we don't pay anything. anything. It's, it's just oh, wow. all profit. That's good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching and, and listening to our conversation. I hope you enjoyed it and found it uh, useful or at least entertaining. And uh, thank you so much. And and if anybody else is visiting LA that's a big fan and would love to visit my garden, please leave me a comment below and we'll work something out. So thanks so much for watching and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and uh, look in the description below for ways to support this channel. And we will see you, or at least I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. <laughs> Ring, ring, ring the ring. bell. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's right. Ring that bell. And what are these called? Pineapple, Pineapple guava. Pineapple guava. Really sweet. Oh sweet. wow, it's so sweet. <laughs> it's Very good really acting. Good. Very good acting, Kumi. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! I can smell it already. <laughs> this is the the one that you guys do for New Year, isn't it? <laughs> oh wow.